Devil May Cry 5. Warning, this game contains tentacles. This is the latest game developed by Capcom, another smash hit to their successful game list. To be honest, this was my first Devil May Cry game I have ever played, but to familiarize myself with the backstory and overall plot, I watched this neatly edited lyrical video with fabulously cut instrumental soundtracks. It explained everything I needed to know, who, what, where and why. So Devil May Cry is a semi-single-player linear smash-em-up combo-driven beat-em-up game. You can play with various characters you unlock during gameplay, each character has their own combo moves and weapons. So what do you do in this game? Well you go around smacking demons in their face. I have a friend who gets a boner every time I talk about this game. He gets all excited and tells me about the button combinations and the names of each combo move. Well I just smash the living heck out of each button every time enemies approached. You basically walk around in linear corridors until you get locked in a fighting zone. Once you clear it by destroying all the enemies you can advance. Story-wise I'm not going to spoil much, I will just say that it's nothing special but entertaining enough. Gameplay on the other hand is quite fun, even though I aimlessly press the buttons, I really enjoy stacking those combos and getting those triple S rankings. Besides ordinary missions, the game is full of different boss battles. You get big bosses, you get fat bosses, you get sitting bosses. Most of them have magical demon powers and they teleport or run around to smash your face in. As you blast through the missions, you have around 21 of them, you find lost souls, those red clusters of sadness. This acts as a currency in this game. You can unlock new combo moves, more room for your special abilities, different skills and whatnot. You also collect yellow and blue orbs. Blue ones uh, help you increase your vitality and the yellow ones mostly are used for reviving, which I now come to. Sometimes the battles aren't easy and you might die, <laughs> trust me, you will die. Once you hit the floor, you can resurrect fully using these quite rare yellow orbs, or spend some souls to revive. Prices for resurrection go up exponentially, so you might get free revives before it really starts to hurt. Now the problem is that once you spend all your souls and still lose, you need to start over again and you still lost all your souls! Now if you spend your currency before the boss fight and you have none left for resurrecting, guess what? You can buy yourself out of this tricky situation using real dollars. Wow, this is wonderful. Well, not, not, not really. Please don't. But yeah, I learned the hard way. By the way, I beat the game on the hardest difficulty that was initially provided. You will unlock even tougher variations once you complete your first playthrough. Well, a little about the graphics as well. Graphically this game is marvelous, facial expression, movement animations and cutscenes in general were just beautiful. Nothing uber fancy, but just good and nice to watch. Sound and music really suit the atmosphere. The vibe of this rock and metal mixed with electronic sounds really gives a sense of space and attitude to the whole game. I can't fault any choices made in this department. What baffled me is the amount of swords and tentacles in Japanese games. I mean, once I see a tentacle, I can already name the country of origins. I think there should be a tentacle warning or a label of sorts on the box once I buy the game. I don't mind tentacles, but I really hope that they stay away from my wallet and nobody uses their microtransaction store. I already mentioned in my previous video that Devil May Cry 5 is not available in Estonian stores. Well, a week has passed and the story hasn't changed. I got Division 2, but uh, Devil May Cry 5, whoop, not available, what a dump. Anyways, in conclusion, this game is good, good for playing experience in general. Just pass the controller to anyone and they will have fun. Stacking combos and buying moves only goes so far for me. But it's just me. If I was really into memorizing all the moves and able to counter every attack with the appropriate move, I know that I would have even more fun as strategy becomes to play. But I'm just a bastard who's lazy and hard to please. Overall, Devil May Cry 5 is an excellent games game and even provides a lot of replay value. Only downside is the lack of deepness. I wish that there was more to explore or more characters to unlock and even more missions beside the secret missions. 
So this game deserves a beautiful 7.5 out of 10. I hope that you enjoyed this review and if you did, hit that like, smash that bell and if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas, until next time.